Hello, everyone. Welcome back to VLSA for All. I'm Neeraj Charyala, back with yet another expert talk and VLSI industry and career. And this time, we have Shivraj Takare joining us from Bengaluru, India. So he has over two decades of experience in chip design. He is currently working as director of IP engineering at Intel Corporation, managing analog and mixed signal IPs like HPM and DDR on various process nodes that are integrated on server SOCs. Prior to this, he was a full-fledged IP team lead with responsibilities such as IP specs, roadmap, fab interface, tools, methodology, flows, team building, and hiring. Shivraj started his career as an SRAM circuit design engineer at Alliance Semiconductors back in 1998. He then moved to US to work at Sun Microsystems. He has got master's degree in VLSI design and microelectronics from IIT Kanpur. So join me in welcoming Shivraj Takare to our channel. Thank you, sir. We are very honored to have you with us today. Thanks for inviting me here. So before delving into the session, uh, uh, could you please introduce yourself to the audience? Although I talked about you, your career a bit, we want to hear it from you. Right, thank you. Um, I'm Shivraj Thakre. I am fortunate to, uh, to do my master's from uh, IIT Kanpur in 1998 in uh, microelectronics. After that, uh, I spent two years in Alliance Semiconductor and designing SRAM. After that, I moved to US, joined Sun Microsystem. Uh, in Sun, uh, I work on server product on physical design. Uh, and Sun uh, was uh, sinking, so I moved to Intel in 2004 uh, and and did the I.O. design on DDR. For so that, in 2007, I came back to India. And since then, I am with uh, Intel Technology India, Bangalore. Uh, in Intel India, we I started uh, on electrical validation, which is post silicon, followed by you know, IP management, or last uh, roughly 15 years. Uh, you know, the my experience is uh, mostly in physical design, uh, analog design, followed by IP management and people management. Uh, that's about me. Yeah, so mostly uh, people uh, like you who have vast experience uh, in this field, mostly we see that uh, they are specialized in one particular domain, subdomain of uh, chip. IC design, but uh, within your career, uh, you've done various hats and various subdomains of uh, chip design, like post silicon validation, as you said, mixed signal IP design and digital design. So that that might have been helping you in your career. So in general, uh, do you suggest the same for freshers who are joining the industry these, these days? For the freshers, I would I would say that you know. Uh, spend two three years uh, uh, in uh, two three domains and uh, decide which domain is best suited for you. It could be physical design, logic design, analog design, or even validation. Uh, you know, better to have you know, three four domains of experience before deciding. You know, whether you want to continue in technical path or managerial path. Uh, I would say after two three years. Uh, uh, you should uh, pick up one domain and go deeper into that domain uh, in terms of uh, solving more complex technical problems and growth. After, you know, any of experience, you can decide uh, which path uh, you can take, managerial path or technical path. Uh, in general, every domain has challenges. Every domain has opportunities. And you can reach to a highest technical or manager career level in each domain. What it put your heart and soul in it. Right. Got it. So, yeah, the reason for asking this question was like many times uh, students get to hear this that uh, uh, the chip architects uh, would know various aspects about uh, uh, the chip they are designing. So, uh, this, uh, I mean, getting experience from all these subdomains uh, would help them to get there at the topest level. Is it true, uh, uh, in your opinions? Uh, 
Uh, I think uh, having a knowledge and experience in various domain will help because uh, you'll be able to correlate uh, the performance parameter of your, your domain by considering the other domain as well. For example, if you design a chief, you want to understand uh, how to validate that chief on post silicon, how to do HVM, how to you know the kill the bad parts. So I think having a uh, experience of different domain will definitely help. Yes, sir. Thank you. So, uh, 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 among all these subdomains uh, that you have worked on, what was the toughest part for you, if there was any, among all these things? Uh, toughest part? Uh, I mean, the, the challenging part? Yeah, the challenging. Uh, challenging. Actually, the uh, every domain, for example, physical design, logic design, analog design, or uh, post silicon, it has it has its own challenges. Some challenges are tool driven. Some challenges are, you know, the semiconductor knowledge driven. Some challenges are, uh, you know, um, are driven, which are mixed in between tool and uh, the, the knowledge driven. Uh, so at this, you know, what I want to say is that uh, every domain has its own challenges. Yes, sir. So you might have faced many challenges throughout your career in, in this 